It's time for another WrestlePlanet news update, as Paige looks set to make an in-ring return, as Tessa Blanchard just revealed her next move, and Tony Khan confirms AEW will be making several more signings in the coming months. All that and more coming up in today's video, but first... AEW President Tony Khan recently took part in an interview with the Wrestling Observer Radio where he discussed a number of things All Elite Wrestling. One of the interesting topics that came up was AEW's future in the UK market where they have a strong and growing fan base. Khan confirmed that he has plans to hold shows in England from the home of his football club Fulham in London. He revealed... I do want to come to England, it's a huge part of my life. It's a great thing we have with ITV. It's been amazing for us. We have great wrestlers from the UK, male and female. I can't announce exact dates, but I want to bring AEW to Craven Cottage. Craven Cottage is a London-based stadium on the banks of the River Thames and holds close to 20,000 people for football matches. The capacity would be larger for a wrestling event due to seats being placed on the pitch. The cottage has been the home of Fulham since 1888 and the team currently plays in the Championship following their relegation from the Premier League last season. Despite not holding a place in England's top flight league, the ground has tons of history and is currently under development to modernise the stands. Ric Flair, who was released from his WWE contract by request earlier this month, showed up at last night's NWA 73 event, a promotion near and dear to his heart. Flair gave an emotional speech thanking many legendary names in the wrestling business and said, My wife Wendy, every time I fell down, she picked me up. Just like Triple H picked me up, just like Sean, Taker, Austin and everybody else. Vince McMahon, I love you, thank you, that's why I'm here. You know what, Vince McMahon isn't going to watch this, but he's going to hear about it. He's going to say Ric Flair is back where he belongs, with anybody he wants to be on any given night. I deserve that right. And Hunter, thank you for reminding me every time that I'm Ric Flair because I let myself down night after night. He would not give up on me. Hunter didn't care about my WCW run. He grew up as an NWA guy. He then revealed that Triple H indeed has an NWA world title on his office wall, a belt that was sold to him by Ric Flair himself. The Nature Boy then thanked Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker for carrying him during their respective WrestleMania matches, before stating that he wants Randy Orton to break his 16-time world title record, with the Viper sitting on 14. He also noted that his daughter Charlotte Flair will eventually match his record too. He ended by thanking NWA chairman Billy Corgan and also gave gave a shout out to AEW President Tony Khan for changing the pro wrestling landscape. Later in the night, Flair joined the new NWA World Champion Trevor Murdoch in the ring after his title victory, after Murdoch put his career on the line for another shot at the belt. Flair is expected to sign with AEW in the coming months, likely to join up with his son-in-law Andrade, who he accompanied to ringside at Triple Mania earlier this month. Former WWE Divas champion Paige was forced to retire in 2017 due to neck injuries, ending her near 14-year career at the age of just 25. As we've seen over the years, wrestlers have stepped back in the ring against all odds, and Paige seems to be set on that very path. In the past, she's named Edge and Daniel Bryan as her inspirations, who were both forced to announce their own retirements before eventually making a return. On her Twitch stream, Paige revealed that her contract with WWE WWE is up next June and said, My contract is up in June of next year. Who knows if they would want to give me a new contract? Who's to say that they would want to? If they did, I'd love to have Twitch as part of the contract. She further teased a comeback when she took to Twitter to say, I'm not done yet. According to Denise Salcedo, Paige is working hard to come back to wrestling, although no dates have currently been given, with Paige wanting to keep it a surprise. It's unknown if Paige will seek to make an in-ring return outside of WWE if she can't gain the clearance from the company that she needs. With her contract ending in less than a year, it won't be long until we know for sure. 
Over the weekend, there was a report from Ringside News that AEW will be transitioning legendary announcer Jim Ross away from full-time commentary, with the plan to feature him on big matches and major events. We now have an update on the situation from AEW President Tony Khan, as well as JR himself, who have both rubbished the rumours. First, let's start with Jim Ross, who took to Twitter to say, it's news to me. This led many fans to wonder if perhaps the plans had not been revealed to Ross just yet, but according to the Wrestling Observer, Tony Khan has informed them that there is indeed no such plans in place, something Khan told not only The Observer, but also Jim Ross himself. Good old JR signed a three-year deal with AEW in April 2019, which means he has around six months left. Earlier this year in May, Ross was asked what his plans were once his deal ends, with him saying that he'd like to take it one year at a time, and he said... I would say I'll do this year and then let's evaluate and see where we are health-wise, motivational-wise. Then if I come back, I'd like to come back for a year at a time. That way, it doesn't put Tony in any unnecessary stress. Whatever JR's future holds in April, for now it seems that he'll still be the voice of Dynamite until then, with Ringside News' report being completely inaccurate. Tessa Blanchard took to Instagram yesterday to potentially tease the next move in her career following her Impact departure in June of last year. Tessa is the first ever female Impact World Champion, a win which shortly followed a number of racism and bullying allegations made by former colleagues. She was then stripped of her belt after rumours of refusing to work dates during the pandemic before her contract was terminated right before it expired. She has since wrestled two independent matches with her future still unclear. Her latest social media post could indicate what's next for her after she showed a photograph of herself surrounded by money with some notes in her hand. If you look closely, you can see that Ted DiBiase's face is on them. Ted has recently been working as part of the NXT brand, being involved in a feud between LA Knight and Cameron Grimes. DiBiase brought back his famous Million Dollar Championship, which was eventually won by Knight, before Grimes took the title just over a week ago at NXT take over 36. Whilst this seemingly hints at a move to NXT for Blanchard, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. She could well be main roster bound, taking DiBiase with her as her manager. A move to NXT does seem a little more likely at the minute, with them wanting to teach her the quote WWE style. Either way, it seems Blanchard could be WWE bound, with a huge rebrand of NXT on the horizon. And quickly, just before we continue, make sure you drop a like on the video as it helps me out a lot and make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss any upcoming wrestling content as we head, hopefully, towards 100,000 subscribers. But now, let's press play on the video. Now let's get to our final story and jump back to the Tony Khan Wrestling Observer interview that we briefly covered earlier in the video, an interview where he addressed a reported AEW debutant. With reports of Brian Danielson debuting in the promotion this weekend at All Out, Khan was asked about the rumoured signing. Of course, he refused to either confirm or deny a similar approach to the handling of CM Punk's debut, although he did have praise for the American Dragon and said, I can't answer that question. I mean, it's fair for you to ask that question, but I couldn't address that on The Observer today. But it's fair for you to ask it, he's one of the all-time greats. Once again, AEW are looking to keep the rumour mill spinning by not ruling it out, something they would likely do if he wasn't indeed showing up. Tony went on to confirm that there will be multiple signings over the coming months, although there were no specific names given, and he said, I'm definitely going to make multiple additions over the next four to six months. I think there'll be some activity in the near future. I can't specify exactly what it is, and I don't think anybody would really want me to. Just like nobody would have wanted any confirmation of anything going into the first dance of what it was, or how it was going to come off. But I definitely will be active, and have been active signing people from day one in this company. Khan also noted the importance of signing talent and made a big claim ahead of the upcoming AEW All Out pay-per-view and added, Recruiting talent is key to any wrestling company. It's key to any sports business, whether it's the NFL or English football or wrestling. I think we've built as good a roster as I believe you could build in this amount of time. With so many stars, a really, really great core of people that have been here from day one, and we've expanded constantly. I think the additions we've made have been a lot of smart additions, and really are very well positioned now with expanding our TV and adding a third hour. 
This is when I really wanted to kick into full gear, so to speak. But the timing of it is perfect because going into All Out, which is definitely without a doubt going to be the biggest pay-per-view event we've done in our history. That is certainly a big promise to make, and with the addition of Brian Danielson expected to happen this Sunday, I have no doubts that that claim can be pulled off. But if you are checking out the All Out pay-per-view, make sure you use our Fight affiliate link in the description, where you can get the full show for just $19.99 in certain countries. And before you go, make sure you check out my video where I discuss the 10 hottest free agents in wrestling today.